Hello everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of uh, Fallout 3. I am I know I did some videos before, but I decided I'm going to start over. And uh, I think I'm just going to do like an unarmed badass build. Like, a, like it kind of reminds me of... A, like, I know there's an unarmed badass build in Skyrim. And since Fallout and Skyrim are made by the same company, I thought... And actually, Fallout, an unarmed uh, build is actually pretty viable in Fallout. So I thought I'd go ahead and see about making it. Now, um, you don't really need a lot of perception, since it doesn't matter where, when the enemies are going to be sh uh, showing up. So I'll put it down to five. In endurance is... Um, I don't know, it... It makes it, like, unarmed more useful, I guess. I'll put it in there. Plus, you'll be going head-to-head, uh, -head, so you have more uh, HP, I guess. Strength, it doesn't matter. Intelligence, I'm just going to leave it at 7. 9, I don't know if... Um, how much unarmed does with a critical chance, but I'll just leave that at 9. I'm probably not going to use VATS that much, so I'll just leave that as that. So... Let's get started and exit the vault. Now, I've, I've played an unarmed build in New Vegas, but I've never actually played one in uh, Fallout 3. Or, if I have, it's been a long, long time and I don't remember. So, I'm just going to pretty much start anew. Although, I know exactly what things to put in and whatnot, so... Or, what to put the points into. By the end, I might actually have 10 in each special and 100 in each skill, so I'm not really concerned about uh, what to put it in. Okay, the first thing I want to do um, is get explosives to 25, so I can do disarming the bomb, because I am going to be a nice guy. And... Uh, what else should I do? Um, doing lockpick not really. Maybe. I'm not gonna use small guns. I might get sneak up so I can get the ninja perk later. Uh, I think I'll just go unarmed because you get unarmed to 30. And of course I'm gonna take the Black Widow because who doesn't like 10% more damage? Now, let's see. I equip that. I think I will see you all back uh, once I get in front of Megaton because this might take a while because I'm overburdened and um, I still need to sell some stuff and get and put on some new stuff. So I'll see you when I get to Megaton. Okay, and we're back here in front of Megaton. Um, there hasn't what really wasn't much to be done. Um, but anyways. Uh, I've also thought, even though this is the Game of the Year edition and I have all of the uh, content, extra content, I'm just going to play through the main storyline. I don't want to do the extra stuff. I might do that as part of another playthrough, but for now, I'd rather just uh, play through the main quest. And not really the main quest, but like the main content. The type of safety um, so, in front of Megaton, I'm going to sell off all my uh, excess awesome. gear. All of which can... Whatever, hereby. I'm actually not going to... I'm going to try not to use any weapons at all, except for uh, unarmed weapons. So, I'm just going to sell... I don't think he has any unarmed weapons here. Spike knuckles. That's it. Okay. Um, take some stim packs. I could take the shish kebab, but I'm just waiting for the death claw gauntlet, which is the best unarmed weapon in the game. So I'm just gonna wait for that and sell everything else until I get enough caps to. Pretty much, I need to sell anything that I'm not going to use. Earning clipboard, so, okay. Uh, I need to figure out 
uh, where the all of the Death Claw Gauntlet schematics are. I know one is like at a uh, what's it called, like a campsite area. So I'm gonna. That's for the. Um, so I'm not going to make. I'm not gonna make all of the schematics. I'm just gonna try and make the Death Claw Death Claw Gauntlet, which could actually prove to be very difficult unless I can find a Death Claw um, hand. Without killing a death claw. Okay, I need to find something that. Ah, screw it, I don't care. Okay, so now I can go in. At least I, now I can walk. And I'm also I'm going to be cutting out all of the Lucas Sims, um, town sheriff and mayor loading time <clears throat> loading times. Uh, nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right. Message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now. Is there something I can help you with? Um, let's discuss this bomb. What about it? Uh, don't you think someone should disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Uh, I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Um, 100 caps? All right, I'll take a look Wait. at it. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Okay. So the main thing is Staying out of trouble, I hope. Okay, I don't want to talk to you right now. Okay, the main thing is um this is going to be more of a guide to how to build like to playing an unarmed class, I guess. Cuz I kind of know what to do. And every eye shall be blind so this is the reason why I got the attempted to send along. This is the reason I got the 25 explosives, so I can just come in here and do this right away, so I don't have to wait. Um, that way you can actually get your own ho house and do every thing. So. I'll be damned! You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Is the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Okay, I have to go now. Okay, um, now I'm just going to try to put into lockpick. I want to get those to at least 50, which I can't. I was going to try to get to 50, but it looks like I can't do that, so I'm wondering if it will be worth it. Huh. You know what? Yeah, it's fine. And for this, uh, all of these other perks really suck, actually. Because all they do, this one just adds 10% to your experience points, which once you get to level 30, which is easy to get to, uh, there's really no point, and it's just a wasted perk. And the rest of these you can actually get to 100 in each skill if you want really easily. So putting 5 additional points into anything is, oh, really bad. So just do intense training. Uh, I'll just go endurance, I guess. To give me more, um, what's it called? 
I forgot the name. Um, health. That's it. Okay, now I'm just going to drop off a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then I will head off to get the first... Uh, first really good weapon. So keep that with me. Um, I don't need... I don't need frag grenades or any of this stuff. Yeah, all this stuff needs to go because I can't use it. And I'm not too worried about uh, caps. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to head off to get the first uh, really good weapon, if I can. Hopefully I don't die. So I'll just stick to my spiked knuckles for now. And where I need to go is... I don't think there's... it's on the map yet, so... It's right around here somewhere. I'll just place the marker up. Yeah, I'll place the marker up there and see if I can get up there. I know it's near uh, Minefield. But it has a really good uh, unarmed weapon. So let's just make the journey there. And I would tell you what it is, but I forgot the name of... What's that? It's an ant. I'm going to try to get as much experience as I can just so I can... Uh, I forgot the name of the place it's at, so I really can't tell you. I just know that it's up by Minefield. I don't think I'm going to skip there. Crap, it's a dog. My weapon's probably going to end up breaking, though. I think I might need to up medicine, too. I'm hoping I don't run into any uh, super mutants or anything, because that would spell the death for me. Well, at least if I tried fighting them. I'm actually so used to playing a sniper character that I'm not really ready for this. Now what you could do, I don't know where the... I could go and find the Deathclaw schematics right now at level 3, I think. It's very, very dangerous to try and even attempt killing a Deathclaw. So I don't think it's really worth it. Something up here. Oh, more rats. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I think another one? Oh no, it's a bandit. Maybe he'll have something. Hello. Yeah. Or it's a ra uh, raider, not a bandit. If you'd just let me hit him. There we go. I'm not doing too well. Wait. Oh, maybe that explains it. I'm actually... I have no 
armor. So maybe that would explain why. I don't really know what armor I'm going to wear. I think I might uh, wear... Th what the hell? I think I might actually wear the um, Ranger Combat Arbor Armor. Come on. Okay, this actually sucks to begin with. But I know it, it can be very good. No, I do not want to die today. Now I'm just going to use this stuff to sell it. Yeah, this gear's not the best, but it'll do. What's down here, though? Oh, it's a mole rat. I hope I can get there soon before my weapon breaks. I don't even know where Minefield is. If I could find it, it would be a lot... There it is. I recognize that area. What's that? Is that a mole rat? Yep. Now, I'm not too worried about uh, skill points, so I'm not going to go uh, over to Rivet City immediately and try to get it, uh, the Intelligence Bobblehead. Also, mainly because it would be nice to have a perfect character, I guess, like a 10 out of 10. Or not 10 out of 10, but like a 10. Wait a second, is that dog meat? Dog meat would help out so much in this game, or in this playthrough. It is dog meat. What's the matter, boy? Lose your master? I know how you feel. I lost my dad. Want to come with me? It's dangerous out here all alone. So, that takes care of that, and I got a follower. Brass knuckles? I don't know if they're better than the ones I have, but... I don't think I'd rather wear this than... There we go. Okay, now to find... Okay. Having dog meat around should actually improve my chance of killing things. Now if I can just find a way out of here. Ah, oh, there we go. Actually, I don't even know if that's the right place. Yeah, it is, because that's minefield. Okay. That's exactly where I wanted to go. I think I might actually head to the DC Ruins next and try to get the Riley Rangers.
quest so I can get my gear. And then I'm also going to try to get... Well, I could go to the uh, Tenpenny Tower and go to the Lucky Store near it and get the Lucky Shades. Which actually sounds like a good idea. Now, if I'm lucky, there is a random encounter up here that involves a Deathclaw. And the Deathclaw is actually almost dead. So, if I can get that um, Deathclaw hand, it would really, really come in handy. Yeah, it's over here somewhere. Nope, they're ants. That worked out nicely. But I don't need any of that. I assure you this does get better as you level up. Because there are perks that you can take that actually increase the damage that your fists do. You have discovered several locations. You can fast travel back to discovered locations using the world map in your Pip-Boy. Now, I can't remember if it's in there or in there. I think it's in here, actually. But uh, that's kind of a problem because uh, in the area there are uh, ghouls, actually. Yep, here we are. There's ghouls. I'll have my uh, dog meat take care of him. There's also a glowing one, which is very, very bad for my situation right now. Don't die, dog meat. Don't die. There he is. Come on, dog meat, help me out. That wasn't too bad. I actually lived through it. Okay, and uh, if you saw, I picked up a leather belt, which I think you need for um, the Deathclaw gauntlet. You need leather belt, Deathclaw hands, super glue, and maybe some other stuff, but I'm not too sure. Okay, oh, okay, and this is what we were here to get, the uh, Fisto, which is a, uh, it's a power fist, uh, a unique variety of the power fist, so it's very, very good. Fortunately, I don't, I can't get anything else here, so uh, it's time to leave. Did I get that? Okay. Anyways, I'm going to end this here. Uh, tomorrow, or next video, we, I will pick up and do a quest and see how that turns out. See how much Fisto can help with me instead of the spiked uh, things. I might actually even go after the Deathclaw schematics. Or the Death 
yeah, Death Call Gauntlet schematics. So, I will see you all later. Comment and subscribe if you like, and goodbye, everyone.